right, this is week eight of Learning from Home, and this is 5.5 Reading and Spelling flip charts, and this is May 18th, Monday. So let's go over our sentence. It says, how can you learn to draw? So what do you think? Definitely need to capitalize the H because it's the beginning. How can? Okay. Is that how you spell you? No, it is not. So we need to add Roman O. How can you learn to draw? Okay, we need the, this one O on two for that, the sentence. And draw, I know the A, you make the O sound, but in draw, it's the W. That makes the off sound. Okay? Words to know. This is your last set. Let's read them as I walk through them. Okay? We have never, only, toward, door, whoops, loved, would. I better take that back down. Okay? Among, Instead, another, against, those, heavy, kind, today, built, early, learn, science, through, close, next, don't, along, hard, something, few, might, and thought. Amazing words. We've got determined, technology, stalled, sketch, inventor, stable, biplane, and speech. Now, which one of those means a rough or unfinished drawing? Sketch. I will sketch a picture on my paper. Which one means making a firm decision and not changing it? Determined. Okay. A talk in front of an audience is called a speech. An early airplane with two pair of wings by wing or by plane. By means two. Okay, a building or structure, or to be sane and sensible, is stable. So it has a couple meanings to it. Machinery and equipment developed from scientific knowledge is technology. And to stop making progress is stalled. A person who invents or makes things is called an inventor. Okay. Spelling this week is the ah sound. And I always think of ah like when the doctor sticks that, puts that stick in your mouth and you go ah so he can see at the back. That's what I think of when I see a u and a w. And sometimes that sound will be a l. Okay, like in ball. So, anyway, let's look at, these are your spelling words, the A-W ones. So, this week you have saw, draw, crawl, straw, law, jaw, paw, lawn, yawn, and hop. If they end with the A-W, then they rhyme. So, you've got a lot of rhyming words in spelling this week. Saw, draw, straw, law, jaw, paw. Okay, and then lawn and yawn, rhyme, because they both end with A, W, and then N. And then your challenge words are through, with a silent G, H, and science, with a silent E, but it's two syllables, okay? Then the A ah sound can also be spelled with A, U, like in the word call, sauce, fault, launch, call, and August. Okay. We're going to be talking about adverbs. Now, we've been talking about adjectives for a long time. 
and an adjective describes a noun, well, an adverb helps describe a verb. So it tells you more about a verb. It, it could tell when, where, or how something is done. And remember, a verb is an action word. So let's look at this sentence. Roxy sat quietly at her desk. Now here's your verb, sat. Now how did she sat? She did it quietly. So that tells not when she sat, it doesn't tell where she sat, but it does tell how she sat at her desk. Okay, let's look at this one. Oh, I spelled Peyton's name wrong. Let's get that fixed. There. Okay, it says Peyton will play next. So your verb is play, all right? And next is your adverb because it tells when he will play. It doesn't tell where and it doesn't tell how, but it does tell when. Remember, you're looking at when, where, or how. All right, and the last one for today. Owen set the books there. Okay, your verb, your action is set. And does it tell us when he set them? No. Does it tell us where? Yes. He set them there. And it doesn't tell us how. So this is the one. And that's your, your adjective. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, that's all for Monday, May 18th.